Have you seen what we got? You gon' see me bring it. Some money, money. It ain't even funny. You know you got it. Just try to spot it. And when the beat drops. Excuse me, anybody know where I can find Fox Squad? You're looking at it, new girl. Wow, talk about your mid-season replacements. Mid-season what? Yup, she's Noodles, all right. Newbie all the way. Great. Vivian breaks an ankle and this is who we get to fill her sneaks? Guys, I mean, we should at least give her a chance, don't you think? Yeah, Sadie's right, y'all. Let's just see what she's got. We can always trade up if she doesn't work out. I don't know, Drew. She's already looking pretty good to me. Cool it, Nico. All right, Noodles. Think you're ready to get crazy like a fox? I, uh, yeah, I guess. Look, we've only got one rule in Fox Squad. Either you step up or you step off. So what's it gonna be? Fine, let's get crazy. Better. Okay, let's see if you've got what it takes to do this all-star thing. If you need to get your practice on, shake the rust off, go do that. When you're ready to step up, just say the word. Tryouts officially begin now. Have you seen what we got? You won't see me bring it. Some money, money. Okay, rookie, I'll be teaching you the basics of all-star cheer. During this practice session, we'll cover a lot of ground, but first, let's go over terminology. This is your cheer line. Every cheer routine is made up of cheer moves that appear as gesture prompt icons that scroll from right to left along the cheer line. For example, this gesture prompt represents a clasp cheer move. To execute a cheer move, you need to perform the indicated gesture with your Wii remote and nunchuck. Properly performing a gesture at the correct time will cause the gesture to pop. This is called clearing a gesture, and you'll earn points for every gesture you clear. 
Got that? Clear gestures to earn points. There's nothing more important than that. The red arrow represents the Wii Remote, and the blue arrow is the nunchuck. Take a look at the glowing cheerleader to the left. She will show you how to hold your controllers to perform each cheer move. Now look at the Wii Remote and Nunchuck in the upper left corner of the screen. They will animate showing you how to hold the controllers to clear each gesture. Being able to clear a gesture prompt isn't enough. You'll need to do it at a specific time during the routine or you won't perform the cheer move very well and the squad will quickly get out of sync. The best time to clear a gesture prompt is when the prompt scrolls fully into the hotspot at the left end of the cheer line. Let's try it now! Perform the clasp gesture with your Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Perfect! Let's try another. This cheer move is called a clean. This is a basic foundation cheer move and you'll use it a lot during routines. Remember to look at the glowing cheerleader if you need help. Perform the clean. You got it! Okay, let's keep going. These two cheer moves are called T's because your body forms a T when you perform the move. The first one is called a full T. The second is called a half T. Now try to clear both gesture prompts as quickly as you can. Excellent! During real cheer routines, gesture prompts won't stop in the hotspot. They'll keep moving unless you clear them. You can clear a gesture if it is anywhere inside the score bar area. Every time you complete a gesture, you'll perform a cheer move and increase your routine score. Each gesture prompt you clear will earn you between 1 and 5 stars. The closer the gesture prompt is to the hotspot when you clear it, the more stars you'll earn. Clear the gesture prompt in the hotspot for a full 5 stars. If you ever let a gesture prompt scroll past the hotspot, you won't earn any stars and you may throw the squad out of sync. During most practice sessions and tryouts, we'll keep track of your routine score by adding a practice score circle. A number will appear inside the circle. This number shows the average number of stars you've earned on each gesture prompt. This is your practice routine score. Okay, I think you're ready to try a simple routine using the clasp, clean, and T foundation cheer moves you just learned. Let's practice those cheer moves in a full speed routine. I'm going to keep track of your star score average during the routine by using the practice score circle. If you score a C or better, you'll earn a pass grade for the practice. This will apply to all practices. Score a C or better and you'll pass the practice. Score a pass grade on a practice and you'll unlock cheer moves to use when creating your own routines. Ready to get on the mat and give it a try? We'll start when you're ready. Have you seen what we got? You gon' see me bring it. Some money, money. It ain't even funny.